denizens of narcissistic distrust will destroy America. There are those in our world who seek power and control over every aspect of existence, no matter what that reality might be. They leverage by creating discourse for their own factions or country and its people. Though some say it is Machiavellian in character to make it seem okay, it is actually a state and sign of a sickness not unlike a manic depressive obsession. They lurk in the background of life to become famous or infamous and manipulate events out of reality via fallacy. Non sequitur does not follow and psychological positioning. This pathological sickness is a preoccupation of what they want to force upon the world by their own will and it drives their daily lives to destroy our civilization and create their own realm of narcissistic pandering for themselves. Manipulation is their glee. Their point of view has become our natural state of existence and they expect all citizens to accept their love of themselves and their deviant behavior as normal. They demand tolerance with none from their point of view. It is most important, this one-sided acceptance of their one-sided world. They seek others to love them as they are and reinforce self-love for all like them but none in return. In their mind, they are a singularity to be worshipped. These denizens exist in a coven of evil that is hell-bent on finding power for their own kind or those who support any one of their political issues. They are known as the narcissists of humanity, a mutual admiration society. That's why they all give each other awards like Bush getting the award for improving human condition. As spoiled brats in their youth, constantly seeking to control every event sequence of their lives via any method necessary, they have become content in their means of manipulating others via what they perceive as superior behavior and knowledge, to be coddled and amused was their constant expectation. They have determined that they are smarter than the rest of us. They think that no one can tell them different. They prey upon others with their disreputable intellect and position, others by emotional blackmail as their common realm of existence. Guilt is a primary aspect of their methodology and it is their most used tool of human leveraging. The self-inflicted threat is the allegorical carrot and the stick positioned as emotionalism to its highest limit. In most instances this condition is devoid of truth but high on dramatic expression. Expressionism, an illusion created by frantic acts for ultimate effect. With their positive self-image that is viewed by many as selfish they enter society as a self-loving, miserable mate or acquaintance, or acquaintance who manipulates family events out of a power sequence of actions designed to reinforce their existence and to hell with everyone else. They protect others in the family or circle of friends who are on their side when viewed as beneficial to them. They use their charm and confidence to dig information and reinforce interest in an association that soon is dominated by their brand of existence. Sneaking around in the background checking on others' business is their domain of self-interest and their only means to self-fulfilling existence. They pride themselves in how they control everything to their way of thinking. Narcissism has many versions and has received reinforcement for its amplification from the self-esteem movement from the last 30 years, over the last 30 years. Indeed, it is a collusion of groups that has buoyed up this sickness and has its adherence in the very behavior 
of Hollywood and the political realms of Washington, D.C. Self-love is highly touted as a means of survival. Few of these folks view themselves as suffering from a disorder, but it seems to be affecting some 5% of the population and is growing as we type. Clinical narcissism is diagnosed as one who thinks highly of themselves and their actions, including the actions of those like themselves as tools for their endeavors. They are not concerned with intimacy, but only the appearance of intimacy, and often use the term intimacy or romantic as a leveraging mechanism to manipulate others who think they are dumb in comparison to their enlightened state. They consider themselves highly desirable and often cheat on a partner as a sign of power to himself or herself. One would think that men are more inclined to be narcissistic, but new evidence indicates that women are more likely to heap reinforcement upon themselves and their friends as a mutual admiration society syndrome that prevails as a sisterhood. One has but to view the massive influx of malls and advertisements that bolster this behavior. Also, one notes that generally male or female, narcissists tend to date one another due to their common behavior. They also tend not to stay in a married state due to their own behavior manifesting into the long run. In society, this sets up a collusion of groupings that reinforce what some call liberalism or progressivism. This narcissism comes from childhood and some believe it is symptomatic of a new branch of pathology that explores why some people lie more than others. It has been postulated that narcissists tend to lie more than others to protect their positions in life. Researchers are not sure of a genetic cause, but it appears to be associated with the balance of white matter and gray matter in the brain by polarism. Research has shown that narcissists often do not know the effect their behavior has on other people due to the fact that they do not care about the other people. They do not realize or even consider the impact of their behavior on others since they are so inner directed. They often think of themselves as leaders and treat others as followers of their band of existence. They often select people with low opinions of themselves as tools to their agenda, which is usually liberal or, sociali or socialistic, thereby amplifying the arrows of adulation coming into their behavioral reinforcement. Their prime driving force for them, liberals, is to take down those who they know knows more than they and must eradicate them from the world's forum or lose position in time and space. It is all about their perception of power. You will have hell to pay if you go against them. See our current political atmosphere. It's not just politicians. It's not just famous Hollywood stars. This kind of narcissism is absolutely taking over our country in just ordinary people. It happens time and time and time again that people are treating one another however they want to, no one takes responsibility, and they don't care about the consequences that they have brought to another human being. Unfortunately, we do live in a country with the majority of the people who care about nothing but themselves. But with pathological narcissists, I can personally attest to the hell you will pay if you go against them. They're a scary breed of people. And it doesn't matter if they're your, your best friend, if they're your sister, if they're your daughter, they will do everything to destroy you, to maintain their perception of their position of power.